We're in Windows Server 2016. Let's take a look at how you would demote a domain controller back to being a member server. So we're in Server Manager. We're going to go up to Manage and choose Remove Roles and Features. Now I have two different domain controllers. This is not going to be the last domain controller. And this is the name and IP address, which is correct. And from here, we're going to uncheck Active Directory Domain Services and click Remove. Now we're going to get what looks like an error here in just one second, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what it is. And we see the option to demote the domain controller. So go ahead and click on that. Now if this doesn't work the first time, you can come back in and check the box for force removal if you need to. However, you may have to do some Active Directory cleanup afterwards, which this video does not cover. So let's go ahead and check the box that says proceed with removal. We'll put in our new local password to the computer. and we'll click Demote. Once the demotion is done, the computer will restart and we'll just confirm that it's no longer part of the domain controllers group. And we were successful in demoting. It says we're about to be signed out, which happens automatically when it works correctly. And we are logged back in. Let's go to the Tools menu. And when we open up our domain controllers and Active Directory users and computers, we can see DCO2 is now gone. So that's how you demote a domain controller in Windows Server 2016.